Welcome back, party people. It's been a month that I've been playing this game now, and I figure it's time for another account progress update. Uh, the biggest thing that has changed since my last update is, well, one, I got the new character, Joan. Also picked up some heroes like Cle Cleopatra, and I wallet warriored and picked up Isabella from the bounty. So now, I'm only missing three characters. And there are Gabriel, who is not very good. Athena, who's pretty good and I kind of want, but I'm not in a hurry to make a green party anytime soon. And then there's Tamamo, who's also not very good. So, not missing out on a whole lot in terms of characters. And the biggest change from the last update is my equipment has suddenly started getting pretty decent. Uh, like, I have a lot of level 60 gear, that's all SSR on my Merlin. Um, my Lilith, I'm in the progress of updating her um, her gear to level 60. Joan is pretty well geared. Chang'e, working on it. And Artemis needs some work, because she's got a, a bunch of level 50 stuff in here. Um, now in terms of my magic users, because you also need a magic damage party for um, Grand Archives 2, I've got Mary who's in all level 50, and Abe, also all level 50. And that's actually a problem, because in Astral Shore, I can clear level 65 um, when it's the fire day, but today is the water day, and I can't beat it, because Mary and Abe are still only in level 50 gear, so I kind of need to step up their equipment there. And level 65 is a really important level to clear, because at this point, you can get 1 to 2, or yeah, 1 to 2 of these Odin's Eye, to drop from the non-supreme reward runs. And those Odin's Eye are really important for upgrading your equipment, because if you look, if you want to upgrade an equipment from level 50 to level 60, or I'm sorry, from level 60 to level 70, you need 100 of those Odin's Eye. So if, outside of the supreme rewards, you're looking at you know a couple days, three to four days probably of straight grinding just to level one piece of equipment to level 60 to level 70. And I actually had a question about that for the internet. I want to pose it to you. If you're a high-end player in this game, or high level, what do you think I should bring as my first item from level 60 to level 70, since it's like a multi-day commitment in terms of the grind, just to get those 100 Odin's Eye? And I think the, the, two, the couple of items I was looking at are, of course... A weapon and trinket for my DPS, so like Merlin or Lilith, you know, bringing any of these items up from level 60 to level 70. The only problem is none of them have prefixes. Like my items with prefixes are on my tank, and actually Joan... See, I consider these endgame equipment, right, because they have prefixes that are pretty good. And my worry is if I level something like Hera's Psy up to 70, and then I get another one that has a prefix, I'm gonna have to do it all over again. Unless I melt this one, which will make me really feel bad. So, I'm not sure if I should be leveling the non-prefixed weapon and trinket right away, or if I should start with, you know, the ones with prefixes, because these will be like endgame attire. But then, Joan is already tanking pretty well, so... I'm probably gonna do the weapons, but... It, you know, any feedback you guys have, uh, leave it in the comments, I'd appreciate it, because I'm not sure, and I've got a couple days to think about it, but, yeah, still undecided on that. Um, so, in terms of Astral Shore, like I was saying, 65 is a key milestone to make, because at that point, you can be getting multiple Odin's Eye from non-Supreme Reward runs, and it's going to make that grind to 100 of these, so much easier and unfortunately the today being uh, water day it's really difficult for some reason because Mary and Abe are just not that good unfortunately um, let's see oh in PvP AI arena not that a lot of people care about this but I'm I cracked top 100 and I've gotten like into the 80s but it's hard to stay up there because you're just going to run into people that are 
like level 60 that just like pound you into the dirt really fast so it, it's hard to stay up there um what else oh in terms of guilds i joined a new guild recently in apex rays and shout out to phd who's currently the number two ranked player but i've seen him be number one on the server and he's also representing apex rays so yeah i'm pretty happy with my new guild you know shout out to hera and uh, apex creature for welcoming me in oh and in terms of guild abilities um, i've maxed out crit speed penetration and rsl and if you're wondering why do you want rsl 10 so moments like this can happen I mean, have you ever seen anything so pretty? It's it's like an angel gets her, her wings every time that Lucifer runs into a wall and doesn't crit. It's beautiful. In terms of characters, uh, my Merlin is now five stars because I bought a, or I got a couple of dupes of her while summoning for Joan. Uh, my Lilith is up to four stars. Joan is four stars. Chang'e is four, and I'm leveling her. Actually, the characters I'm leveling are Chang'e, Merlin, Joan, and Artemis, uh, who's supposed to be top two. So I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into leveling Artemis. Um, now, while I'm team level 58, my characters are 59. And I've done a couple Awakening 10s for Merlin, Lilith, and Joan. And once you do the 10th Awakening for characters, you get this choice of Genesis or Oblivion where your hero needs to be level 60 and then you can choose a path for them where you want to make them like bulkier or more stronger so for my dps i'm going to make them uh, go oblivion and get stronger and for my tanks i'm going to make them bulkier so go genesis um, but that requires here level 60 which i should be getting <clears throat> in the next uh with the next level also uh, when i hit team level 60 uh, Elemental Tower is going to open up here on the right. And that's like what I consider endgame content, where you're going to need teams of a specific faction to go through a tower and clear multiple levels of that. And that actually brings up a good point of um, one of the things I'm doing is I'm leveling and gearing up every single character I have. So if you look, like nobody is below level 40. And what I'm doing is, you know, when I get um, enough lobsters which you get a ton of like i have 135 so i can take everybody to red lobster right now and raise their levels um and if you look like even my lowest characters well not a great example but they're all wearing at least some form of gear that i should get to level 20 and they all have gems of course and the reason that i'm building up all those characters is for something like elemental tower where you're gonna need to field teams of like an all dark team, an all light team, an all green team. So you're gonna need all characters for that, as well as um, for the, uh, what do you call it? In the guild, when you do the dark pact, or dark gate, you know, like when you go in, well, that's not a great example, but when you go in here, you need to use all your characters every day when you're doing this so you you really need to build up everyone and when you do the arcane trial i think a lot of people build up one main team but if you have multiple teams if someone dies then you can just switch to your b team to clear content in arcane trial so if you have multiple teams fully geared up and built i think it's really going to help you um also we have this event running right now mary secret garden and there's going to be events like this where you get points up if you use certain heroes. So if you don't have like your Loki built up or you don't have Little Red built up or Venus, you're going to be at a disadvantage. So my goal is to build up every single character, gear them out with full SSR gear, full gems, uh, full awakenings, all of that. And that will also help you in your manual if you're leveling up everybody doing all their awakenings. And then the manual also gives um bonus stat bonuses to all your characters too so that's another reason why you want to be doing that uh, now in terms of adventure mode i'm spending as little time as possible in here but i'm up to act 30 
what else? Oh yeah, um, I think the the greatest indicator of progress in how you're doing in this game is your perks. And as you can see, I'm nearing level seven in all the categories except for warrior because I don't have any warriors I care about. And I'm probably not gonna pick up Mulan, I'm gonna wait for Freya, so I don't see this changing anytime soon. Eventually, someday, I'll, I'll make a warrior and then I'll need to go into that tree, but uh, the most recent tree I've been working on is the ranger tree, just because of Artemis. And I've now got one point into every single um, category, so I've unlocked the entire tree. I still have to do page three for the priests, which I'm not in a hurry to do because you know, Chang'e is healing everybody to fall, so as a healer, she's doing well. One thing she could use, though, is I need to give her a sandwich, give her some carbs, because, like, she she is dying. She's pretty squishy, and I don't know if that's because healers are meant to be squishy or because I didn't, like, give her any hit points or defense over here. And it's really apparent because when you go into something like, if you want to know if your team is good or not... Go into Mary, difficulty 50 with your characters, and if you can solo it using all recommended heroes, meaning no Lilith, or I'm sorry, no Lucifer, then you've got a good team. And right now, like my Chang'e, sometimes she survives when they start like doing gestures AoE, and sometimes she doesn't. So I feel like if I level up that third tree, she might, she'll probably be able to survive more consistently. So that's on me. Uh, one other thing is, in Dream Chronicle, I'm up to S+, plus, and this is kind of like the Timeless Trial from Langrisser. S+, plus is where you get the SSR trinket, so it's kind of a big deal when I can finally clear this. The problem is this week, the time law is uh, any AoE damage reflects back at you, and my entire team, unfortunately, is an AoE team, because I've got Merlin, I've got Lilith, whose ultimate can do an AoE, Joan has AoE, Chang'e has AoE, so Artemis has AoE, so all my characters are at a disadvantage here, and I may end up having to go to the dark side um, and use Lucifer to get past this level. But once I do, I can get that sweet SSR trinket, and hopefully I can do that every week, because that's kind of a big deal. Uh, that's getting towards the end game content, if you can get that every single week. So that's my progress update. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later.